waterfall starting to come together. Continue making our way up that slope. What we're doing, you can see this big rock that's hanging over here. That's going to be actually the spillway stone, a double spillway right over here where Mark is at. So Brian's just digging out a little pocket for that stone to recess itself down into. Well, this is the beauty of working with a flexible membrane like this. I mean, there are concerns with it. This challenge is once you get used to working with this material, super, super versatile, allows you a lot of artistic freedom. And that is really, really important to us. I also believe it is definitely much more sustainable. And that's because this material pound for pound is more waterproof than anything else. So the thickness, the weight of that material to create a waterproof membrane that's gonna last a minimum of 20 years is unbelievable. That's half of the waterfall. So we got a little bit more than half done. Remember, we're gonna finish someplace up in here. Just imagine that view every day of your life. I think we just took a $100 home and turned it into a $200 home, <laughs> right? Absolutely. <laughs> Continuing with waterfall construction, we finished up this second waterfall drop, which is going to come down into this main one and then come into the main viewing area. What we're doing now, you can see Brian bringing over a bunch of uh, fill material. So this is going to be a backfill soil. So what we do is we over excavate everything. You've heard us say this a thousand times, but it's an important thing to remember. So we over excavate past where we think we're going to need, and then we'll bring soil back in place. Now this is typically done on large scale projects like this. Now, if you're doing a small backyard pond, you're not going to want to dig several feet over because you're probably going to be doing that by hand so doing that all with hand work is going to be very time consuming and challenging but with heavy equipment like this it goes very very quickly so over digging everything bringing in good soil as a backfill material and then pushing it into place so we make the rocks dictate what this is going to look like not the excavation i think that's a really really important lesson to always be thinking about <music> Waterfall starting to come together. Continue making our way up that slope. What we're doing, you can see this big rock that's hanging over here. That's going to be actually the spillway stone, a double spillway right over here where Mark is at. So Brian's just digging out a little pocket for that stone to recess itself down into. Well, this is the beauty of working with a flexible membrane like this. I mean, there are concerns with it. This challenge is once you get used to working with this material, super, super versatile, allows you a lot of artistic freedom. And that is really, really important to us. I also believe it is definitely much more sustainable and that's because this material pound per pound is more waterproof than anything else so the thickness the weight of that material to create a waterproof membrane that's going to last a minimum of 20 years is unbelievable <laughs> first phase phase one and our trip to Utah that was the slope we had this is the front door as you walk through the house this is the back door kitchen's gonna be to the right over there Ed's looking out the windows out to the backyard that's half of the waterfall so we got a little bit more than half done remember we're gonna finish someplace up in here just imagine that view every day of your life I think we just took a hundred dollar home and turned it into a two hundred dollar home <laughs> right <Absolutely. laughs> yeah just incredible so we've got some wing walls in here. That rock goes. Um, water is going to drop here, there, here, kind of move through a stream and through here. We've got another, that's a six foot to seven foot drop back there. And then another one going in back there. So that's what we'll do next time. We'll run all the plumbing, get everything finished. We're going to do some stone steps way over here to a little patio up in this area. It turned out fantastic. Good job, Ed. <laughs> Excavating out the area for the next pooling space. Now this pool, as you can tell, significantly larger than this one. The reason is for, for that is there's gonna be a small patio seating area tucked in right over in this section over here. So we wanted to make a little bit deeper area of open water. So this top waterfall is this whole hillside again will completely change. The idea with this waterfall, since these ones down below are facing master bedroom and main area over here in the house, this one's gonna kind of go that direction. 
section towards the driveway as well as that new seating area so as people come up they're going to see this upper waterfall tucked in over here but they won't see really any of this stuff so the idea is to draw people out of their vehicles over towards the backyard so when we do that that waterfall is going to kind of be angled like this that means we got to build up all the stone way out over here literally coming all the way out so this whole hillside is going to get re-established with stonework and soil to create planting areas to create the next section for the waterfall so as you can see this is a very organic process once we get on site we have an idea of what we're going to be doing and then we start manipulating it according to the stone as well as all the different viewing areas looking at this stuff from drawing site drawings even pictures are not as good as actually being on site once we get on site we could actually start laying everything out we know exactly where that water is going to go and we also have a chance to look at all these different beautiful boulders because the boulders really are going to tell us how we need to set them so this has been an awesome project so far can't wait to see this one running Everybody, Ed the Pond Professor here coming to you from Utah. I am out here helping Brian and the team do this incredible waterfall. This is going to be for a brand new model home that's being built in an incredible development. I mean, just check this stuff out. These views out here, unbelievable. You can see for miles, you're kind of tucked down in this little valley, surrounded by these big soaring mountains. You got snow covered peaks all the way at the top of a lot of these things, and it's already June. So it is a spectacular area. We've been having an incredible time out here. We're getting things finalized until the next team can come on out. So what we're going to try to do here today is wrap up this next section of uh, waterfall pools. This is going to kind of be a, a gathering spot for the homeowners. Because this is a pondless system, pondless system is basically we have an underground reservoir. That underground reservoir actually stores over 3,000 gallons of water. We're going to be taking water off of the roof of this home. This is going to make it a little bit of a sustainable feature. Even though we're in a dry area, they do get precipitation periodically. So what we want to do is make sure that we have enough storage capacity inside that reservoir so when it does rain we could actually capture it and store it and utilize it for our water feature. The other unique thing about a pondless system is the lower reservoir. It's all the way down there on the bottom. That was that area of those aqua blocks that we installed. So that creates that structural void space underneath the entire system. There's typically not a pond associated at the lower level. So this is where the pumps and everything are going to be and I'll show you that here in a second. So what we're trying to do is we're creating another pooling area a little bit higher up and what I love about that design is it's going to give us completely different views of the surrounding area. It's going to give us views of the rest of the valley as well as the back of the home. You also see from inside over here there's this beautiful covered deck area and then the views from inside the home are just incredible. So let's go take a walk. <laughs> So here is that pondless section. You saw us building this a couple days ago. This has a hundred of these aqua blocks. These create a structural void space underground. This will get covered up with all the river rock. So what's going to happen is all the water is going to fall down from the waterfall. It's going to kind of pull up here a little bit and then it's going to overflow and it's going to kind of rain itself down into the storage basin down below. Over in the corner over here are where our pump vaults are located. Those pump vaults are basically a storage area that are going to house the pump. They also allow us easy access access inside. So you take that lid off and then you have access for all those pumps. We will put extensions on those. It's a little bit low right now. Our piping will come out the back, go all the way around. We're going to discharge water into a few key areas. One of those areas is going to be a pooling section right up behind this, these boulders here. The other two pumps are going to take the water all the way to the very, very top. So uh, what I love about that concept is it kind of mimics nature. So typically when you find a waterfall in nature, you have small little creeks and streams and springs and things like that that are going to be feeding it from under
underground and in between bedrock, etc. So what we're trying to do is mimic that concept. So as we get further and further downstream, the water flow continues to increase. And that's exactly what happens in nature. I love working with these big giant boulders. This is all some of the local granite that they have here. Very rough, got all types of different characteristics. We have some broken sections that are gonna have nice crisp clean edges on them. Then other sections are gonna be a little bit more rounded and tumbled. So it's giving us a diversity of styles and types to work with to create this dramatic waterfall. For here, we're gonna have water cascading down, gonna uh, crash down through this little joint, split around this rock. This is gonna be more big flat slabs in between. And then we have to come in here and do all of that surrounding stonework. <laughs> 